Noel Laureate cautions us. The James Webb Telescope has quite recently found something unusual in the universe, and we may not be prepared for the progressions that are coming. The most recent disclosures present difficult issues for our science. It's getting more insane and more insane. In light of the fact that once more James Webb has found a totally new peculiarity that is turning our material science course book's potential gain down, astrophysicist and Nobel Prize champ Adam Ree has long thought that established researchers are setting out toward debacle. Specialists report heaps of perplexing riddles that are becoming each day. Could we at any point actually will grasp the circumstance? Or is our science at an end? Adam Ree is presumably a rarity. Specialists who are keeping a calm mind these days, since the send-off of the James Webb Space Telescope, nothing is as it used to be. The universe is likely a lot more seasoned than expected. Universes have framed a lot quicker and uniquely in contrast to every one of our forecasts, and our universe may not be growing from a solitary point. What happens now on the off chance that dim matter is potentially still an error and James Webb is now introducing the following picture of puzzling peculiarities in the universe? Adam Ree is one of the main specialists in the field of examination into the growing universe. His commitment to the disclosure of the speeding up development of the universe reformed our perspective on the development of the universe and was one of the foundations of the Hubble energy. Ree invites the telescope's most recent disclosures since he knows from his own times of devoted work that our cosmology is defective. He was associated with reviewing the universe and utilizing supernovae as standard candles without precedent for this setting. Standard candles are something like enormous scopes that researchers use to gauge developments and distances in the universe. Utilizing supernovae as a yardstick, amazingly exact estimation results could be accomplished. However, one issue remained. Re and his group found that the development of the universe was expanding territorially rather than diminishing throughout their work. Another peculiarity became obvious as Rhee's estimation results varied significantly from those based on the redshift technique. This shouldn't actually be the case. Today, we know the contrasts in the estimation results as the Hubble voltage. Rhee's work was so incredible that he was granted a Nobel Prize in Physical Science in 2011, together with his partners Saul Perlmutter and Brian P. Schmidt. Truth be told. He got the honor for the revelation of the sped-up extension of the universe. Re and Schmidt are individuals from the Hi-Z Supernova Search Team, which is exploring procedures to refine the proportions of distance in the universe. Perlmutter then again came to similar ends at around something very similar time as a feature of the Supernova Cosmology Project. They noticed type IA supernovae, extremely splendid detonating stars that serve as solid signs of distances in the universe. These perceptions gave the amazing proof that the pace of extension of the universe is expanding instead of diminishing due to the gravitational impacts of issue in the universe, as previously thought. The greatest emergency in present-day science was gradually preparing, and presently the bomb has detonated. Rather than answers, stargazers and cosmologists are continually being presented to new riddles and shocks. Nowadays, the idea of an isotropic universe is also near the very edge of breakdown, and with it, one of the principal mainstays of our cosmology. Isotropy expects that the universe looks similar this way and that, paying little mind to where you check out at it from. This presumption is a fundamental part of the cosmological standard, which expresses that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic on the off chance that we check out at it on an enormous enough scale. For instance, the enormous microwave foundation radiation design looks consistent all over, and enormous bunches of universes are too conveyed consistently across space. Essentially, that is the manner by which it used to look, and researchers then turned these perceptions into essential numerical rules to streamline logical portrayals of the universe. But this may have been an inept mix-up. The perceptions of Adam Ree and other researchers investigating sped-up extension have at first affirmed the isotropic model, to some extent because the estimations of supernovae have shown consistent outcomes with respect to the pace of extension. This implies that there gives off an impression of being some sort of isotropy. However, the extension is a lot quicker than it ought to accord to old physical assumptions. The finish of dark energy remains energizing in science. In request to comprehend the riddle of the new cosmology, we want to take a closer take a gander at dark energy. Its specific idea is as yet unclear, 
yet its presence and properties are essential if we need to comprehend how and why the universe grows in an isotropic manner and why specialists concocted the current standard model of cosmology. Dark energy is a theoretical type of energy that could be available anywhere in the universe and assumes a key job in current hypothesis about the extension of the universe. Its idea to be the main impetus behind the sped-up development of the universe by acting against gravity, pushing the universe separated. In current cosmological hypothesis, dark energy is answerable for around 68% of the all-out energy content of the universe. Yet, here you can as of now see an issue. Researchers fault practically 70% of the energy processes in the universe on an energy whose presence has never been demonstrated. A significant component supporting the presence and properties of dark energy up to now was the perception of type IA supernovae as completed by Adam Rhee and partners. The sped-up extension saw here couldn't be made sense of without the impact of a huge, unpleasant power. Additional proof that this strange energy truly exists was given by the cosmic microwave background radiation and other enormous-scale primary examinations. However, ongoing perceptions by the James Webb Space Telescope have now shaken the idea of dark energy. The JWST can notice the early universe in a degree of detail that was previously impossible. Indeed, even the principal exact perceptions uncovered designs and articles that are more seasoned and more created than they ought to be as per the standard model of cosmology. These perceptions could demonstrate that the universe may have extended significantly quicker or begun at a prior time than previously expected. These outcomes show that we have not yet seen some essential components and powers in the universe, including dark matter and dark energy. Almost certainly, we are currently confronting a complete revision of the standard cosmological model, yet we are not prepared for that right now. We can't come up with new hypotheses since we don't have enough substantial data about what's new. Will we track down the response in the realm of quarks? So, the upheaval in our perspective should stand by a bit longer. Just when Webb gives us more pictures and analysts make even more fantastic disclosures will we be ready to sort out another image. That might require some investment. Meanwhile, specialists all over the planet are looking for answers that are now accessible. David Gross is another researcher who invites the emergency and sees it as an open door. Gross focuses out that the responses to the incredible. Secrets of the universe are not covered up in the cosmos, however in the microcosm. The prestigious theoretical physicist is an expert in the theory of strong interaction and string theory. He is moreover one of the Nobel Prize victors and received the honor in 2004 for the discovery of asymptotic freedom in the theory of strong interaction. The discovery was fundamental to figuring out the way of behaving of quarks, which are the fundamental building blocks of protons and neutrons. These particles are the principal entertainers in the standard model of particle physics, and they are the basis of all that we can see and measure in space. Thus, the essential structures and principles of the universe must also have partners in the subatomic domains. The concepts that Gross served to foster, in addition to other things, with the occasions not long after the Big Bang, understood that there were no stars and negative objects in the universe around then. For a huge number of years, there was just a very hot early-stage soup in which particles spitted freely through space without forming bonds. Before the Big Bang, there was probably just a sort of quantum variance in which all structures counterbalanced each other in such a way that, according to an actual perspective, they added up to zero. With the Big Bang, this quantum change went to pieces, and particles loaded with charges and forces shot into a generally vacant space. These particles later became stars, systems, planets, and living things like us humans. Is Gross right when he says that these particles are the solutions to all the questions? Probably yes, but how do we concentrate on the way of behaving of particles that were in space 13.8 billion years ago? In addition to other things, specialists utilize the cosmic microwave background radiation. This is viewed as a fairly exact impression of the occasions soon after the Big Bang and has most likely not changed much from that point forward. However, quantum physicists and traditional physicists don't quite settle on how to interpret this engraving of the good, OL days of the universe. Right now, the circumstance in science is that quantum and particle physics can't be accommodated with customary cosmology. The discoveries from the universe of formed matter don't fit with quantum physics, or rather the linking connection is missing. David Gross is persuaded that this bridge can be found in previously unknown particles and powers.
He was one of the specialists who endeavored to arrive at an agreement between the disciplines, even before the discussion set off by James Webb. As co-author of String Theory and in a sound unification of quantum mechanics and general relativity, he was quick to close the gap between the two worlds and disciplines of science. Gross work on asymptotic freedom describes how quarks act at very high energies. This is fundamental to understanding the early universe soon after the Big Bang when energies were incredibly high. His theories can explain at this point hazy parts of the expansion of the universe. However, there is some debate among researchers as the postulates of string theory are as well outlandish for the majority of traditional physicists. David Gross suspects that the responses to all unanswered inquiries lie in the quantum fluctuations within the microwave background. The CMB fills the whole universe and can be viewed as taking all things together directions around us. The Cosmic Background Explorer satellite, which was active from 1989 to 1993, was the first to see minuscule changes in the temperature of the radiation. From 2001 to 2010, the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe investigated to find evidence of the Big Bang in these changes, and most recently, the Planck satellite provided quite possibly one of the most detailed maps of the CMB. However, there is still conflict among specialists regarding how this data should be interpreted. While some claim to have found the fundamental evidence for the Big Bang in the CMB, others see the data as evidence for collisions with parallel universes and the existence of the multiverse.